Yo, hey guys and girls, welcome back to another video on my Slim Fast. Got my mum here today with me. Hello. Hi. Vote for Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> Vote for Jeremy Corbyn. He'll do the best Corbyn, for you. Corbyn. 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 Down with Theresa May. Down with Theresa May. She wants to take all the money away from you. Jeremy doesn't. He wants oh. to help you. Actually, I'm cooking the sausages at the moment. I got those in the uh, grill. Anyway, guys and girls, you alright guys and girls, how you doing? Welcome to my Slim Fast Dieting video. Jeremy <laughs> Corbyn, Jeremy Corbyn, vote Jeremy I mean, Corbyn. I don't know, I don't calm down, I know you're a big fan of Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party. I think it's been my full time, but I want to make number five. Alright, I'm going to do my Slim Fast video in a minute. Anyway, um, yeah, so welcome back to my Slim Fast. This is 500 and 20 now, I think, 520. And the 520 days into my Slim Fast dieting plan. My name's Anthony Kenneth Bishop. And, uh, yeah, I've got my uh, dozy brother at the steps. <laughs> I call him dozy because, to be honest, he doesn't even watch the news. And he thinks, like, when I said about... Um, different things on the news. He goes, oh, stop being silly and all that. Actually, I'm also drinking my cup of coffee, guys and girls. Mm. I've always had mine already and I'm still here. Oh. All right, guys and girls, while well, I'm back, my brother came down just a minute ago. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, my mum's a big Corbyn fan. Jeremy, Jeremy Corbyn. Corbyn, we love you. <laughs> well, I wouldn't push it that far for me. Well, I would. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've got uh, one of these, yeah. Little Marvel superheroes thing. And actually, if you work out uh, about politics, guys and girls, right? If you um, watch it, they keep saying that um, the Labour Party is going to be a new hope. And if you think about it, if you guys and girls have seen A New Hope, Star Wars, New Hope, this kind of reminds me of a sort of a Star Wars um, scenario. You Basically, you've got Theresa May. She's the Dark Lord or mm -hmm. Darth Vader. Uh, the And then you've got the Empress or the Emperor, Palpatine. I don't know who that would be. Probably, uh, no, what's her, who's that one is uh, next in charge? Of Theresa. Oh, Boris Johnson, isn't it? Is, is he these? Is, is it. Um... I can't remember. No, not him. There's another fella, in it? But she's got plans, I think. No, no, that... no. What is it? What's no. his job, though? Um, Boris Johnson's job? Oh, he goes around the country and stuff. Yeah, he? no, but he works for Theresa, doesn't he? Yeah. Basically, but he's a little lap dog. The next one to um, Theresa May, mm. I believe that when she's been talking, She's got plans of sucking in. And she also got plans, if she gets in as well, she's also got plans to actually bumping the NHS off and killing everybody and all that pretty much. In a way, it's killing everybody, isn't it? Because without the NHS, the National Health Service, I mean, to be honest, I was all for it. Um, but then I've come up with this thing whether, OK, if we don't have the NHS, then we're going to have these people being sick and ill and all that. And, yeah, it's not going to get anywhere. Anyway, this is my Slim Fast. It's supposed to be my Slim Fast video, well, actually, not a political video. I thought David Cameron was okay, but the trouble was he decided to run away. So that is technically... So basically, he was like the captain steering the ship, and then he said to everybody that the, all the pirates were get, ganning on him and all that. In other words, all the people. And then what he'd done, he left all his crew behind yeah. and jumped ship. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah, he did a, what do you call it, a pirate thing where you're jumping And if I remember rightly, it. only the other day, they was talking about David ah, Cameron. Captain and Jack Samantha, And I think they said they were on holiday. That's like, very nice of them, isn't it? Ah, his name's Captain Jack Sparrow. But don't worry, you lot, because the if May gets Pearl. in, May gets in right, you won't be able to have any nice holidays, but she will. Oh, don't worry about her. And there'll be lots of people be sleeping out in doorways, but don't worry about her. She'd be in an ice can, warm bed. Actually, can you imagine uh, David Cameron actually being in a pirate's film? 
Yeah. You know, being on a ship, and then suddenly all his men gets captured, and then he has to jump the ship like a coward. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And then you go, and then actually, and then he stars next uh, to Johnny Depp. Ah, uh, no, hang Arr. on, don't worry. Oh, Samantha will go out there and rescue him. And all right, Captain <laughs> Wonder, my name's Captain Blackbeard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his wife will go out and uh, yeah. rescue him. Mm. Mm. I'm going to make another coffee in a minute. Actually, so I had my slim fast uh, this morning. This is actually for Tuesday, 6th of June. This is supposed to be a slim fast video, but it's turning into a political video. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I had my slim fast uh, this morning. And it actually, yeah, it is, uh, yes, yeah, Tuesday. And it's uh, 7.35 as well. And I'm cooking uh, food for my brother at the moment because he can't cook for himself because he ends up burning the house down. And then, yeah. I'd like to see Russell Brand on. on there. Well, you have a talk in a minute. Go on, have a talk. No, I don't want to talk. <laughs> oh, stop being rude. There we go. I'm got cooking some sausages. Wolves. Wolves. Sausages. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys and girls, like, I had my slim fast I, um, this morning for breakfast. Then I had my... Um, Hazelnut milk, and then I didn't have any uh, chocolate because I didn't had any chocolate for god damn it about a week now. I've been off chocolate for a whole week. It's like I went cold turkey or something for the the coffee or the hot chocolate because I like the cocoa and stuff in there. Cocoa is good for you; it's more healthier. And when my health going down now, it's like really, really, really good. Like I'm getting more healthier. I'm getting more fitter, and my body percentage is getting even lower, because it's uh, around, what's it, 27, 28, yeah. something like that, um, my uh, BMI, yeah. my um, body mass index is, yeah, 27, that's not too bad, uh, apparently anything between, if anything over 25, technically is overweight, so I'm still overweight, by 3 or 4, so... On my BMI, it's about three or four, so I need to go down about three or four or five, so I can get to around about nineteen to I'd say nineteen to twenty or twenty-two, and then I should be good. Then I should be in healthy. But anything below eighteen point five on the BMI is actually underweight, and then overweight is up above is when you're past twenty-five. So anything between uh, from my height. I'm around about, I would say, what's that, 5, 5, 7, 5, yeah. 6, 5, 9, I don't know, something like that, I have to um, measure myself, but um, I'm I'm quite small, I'm quite small, I'm not Anyway, uh, I tall. suggest everybody fights for a good government. Yeah, but then again... And then, when you, you keep, think about it, I mean, look at Donald Trump. But then you keep saying, though, like, you keep saying that Jeremy Corbyn, it seems a bit too good to be true. As well, that's well I say we give him a chance. That's what you can do. And um, as for Donald Trump, I mean, look at him. He had a fight on his hands, didn't he? And he got in, and that's three fighting. So technically, we should all do the same. And then we've got family members who've uh, died. Who've, uh, been, oh, don't worry about them. No, they've been in the MPs past. and all yeah. that. I know it's been in the past. Mm. Not. They've been MPs and all that. But they've, they've been dead for, like, what's that, over a couple of centuries now? Since I was yeah. 17. I'd like to get more into my family tree as well, so I can see who's in my family tree and who's not and all that. That would be quite interesting to go uh, way, 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 way back. Mm. So, yeah, it'd be quite cool. Anyway, guys and girls, I'm going to finish this breakfast video off because this is my breakfast video. And, yeah been doing really good my mum um thinks how much she's actually shocked how much weight i've lost isn't it? yeah done pretty good is that what you're gonna say great <laughs> well it's good isn't it i mean uh, your dad when uh, he was alive went all fatty stuff didn't he and yeah fish and chips sausage and chips he's so chips yeah know? it's just a lot and i mean it's just a mcdonald's and it's just no it didn't do no good for you yeah it's more about just getting healthier and just having a mind of your own really actually i mean motivation comes within and then 
was it a couple of years ago? You just turned around and said, right, I'm not having that party stuff, didn't you? Yeah, I just said, I literally woke up one morning and I thought, oh, fuck it, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling shit, I'm not feeling really that good about myself, about my weight and all that control and shit. I felt uh, like I was actually been in control of the food that I'm eating. So I thought, fuck it, may as well just like go on a all time low and just go really high, cut all my cut. And the thing is, to be honest, I think it was mostly to do with the Cokes, wasn't it really? Because how many Cokes yeah. I used to drink? Oh, boxes of them, Yeah, boxes. I used to have fucking boxes and boxes oh, of Coca-Cola. And to be honest, it's got aspartame in it. And even though they're, they're supposed to take away sugars, they add the sugars, but they also add aspartame, which is actually a sort of um, extra sugar, but it's a sort of like... Um, their own version of the sugar. It's a sweetener, technically. They take away. And apparently, uh, I heard on a documentary some time ago that the sweeteners in it are actually kind of like rat poison. So, oh. really, you're putting rat poison inside your uh, body. Have you got Kevin's dinner done? Well, I will most. Anyway, guys and girls, cheers all for watching. And don't forget, <laughs> Jeremy Corbin. Vote for Labour. 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 Because he's the one I I think, well, we we got to give him a chance. Oh. We've given the Conservatives a chance for the last, what, some years? Yeah. Well, and then, then, then they, keep blaming, they keep blaming the, uh, the Labour. They've been in there for 10 years. They've been in there for quite a while. So who can you blame? You can't blame them. I mean, they've been getting you lot in a mess, haven't they? I mean, they got the people who sleep in doorways now. Yeah. So you can't blame the Labour for that. Yeah, we need to get the homeless off the street so they're not homeless, they're homed. And I was talking to a homeless boy uh, over at uh, Bristol and he reckons, right, that if the Conservatives get in, it's going to be more people out on the streets. So, and actually, we talk to a lot of the homeless people, yeah. and they said exactly the same thing, yeah. don't they? And all that. So it's it's obviously home being homeless is a problem. And, and it's that what you've got to try and stop is that bedroom tax, because I've been told that a lot that bedroom tax is a lot to do with it. Yeah. Anyway, guys and girls, cheers all for watching for today's episode for Tuesday. And um, it's June already. Bloody hell, June uh, already. We love you. Yeah, 6th of June already. Tuesday, 6th of June. And it's 1942. And uh, we love all of you. Hey, 1942. It'd be funny, actually, if they had a, a time machine where you could literally go back and you could actually witness any time of the year. And I would go... I probably would go back to the 1800s and try and find Jack the Ripper and then... Anyway, you better get Kevin's dinner. Track him and And tell everybody we love all of them. Yeah. Anyway, catch you all later. Stay safe and have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. And don't forget, day. we love all of you. Yeah, everyone. Everyone should no be matter, treated equally. No matter who you are or what countries you come from, we love you. Yeah. Anyway, cheers all for watching. Stay safe.